Hi guys, Ethan here. Welcome to the Gearhead Gallery here at GR Auto Gallery. Behind me we have a 1975 Mercedes-Benz 450 SL. This generation of the SL Roadster is referred to as the R107 generation. And SL actually stands for Sportlicht, which in German translates to English as Sportlight. These Roadsters are an absolute blast to drive. I think they're awesome due to the soft top and hard top. You can basically take down the top whenever you want uh, for any kind of open air driving experience. Whether you're cruising through back roads, taking the car out to the beach, or just going to grab ice cream, it's no matter what you're doing, you're gonna have a great time in the SL. These cars are exceptionally comfortable with their leather interior. The example behind me here has a wonderful red leather interior that appears to be all original and we will get more into that once we are inside the vehicle. These SL Roadsters, the R107 generation, was built from 1971 all the way through 1989. The long production run saw many different engine variants, with this one, the 450, being a 4.5 liter V8. They also made the 380, the 560, the 280, there was a bunch of different engine variants you could get in these SL Roadsters, but here's a V8 one, plenty of power and torque on tap for that, those uh, highway miles. As I previously mentioned, I love how these SL Roadsters drive. They have a cloud-like feel almost while still maintaining a bit of that sporty Roadster stiffness in the suspension. So let's actually go out and get this thing out on the road and I'll tell you guys more about why I love these SL Roadsters so much. How's it going guys? We're now inside the 1975 gray blue Mercedes 450 SL here. Want to point out a few more things to you guys on the interior of this example before we go ahead and get it out on the road. Starts off, let's go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, it starts up without hesitation and I quickly threw it into drive there. As I mentioned, I do enjoy how these things drive. I think that the Suspension when going over bumps, there's a lot of uh, give to the suspension in a very comfortable way to where you're really not feeling it in your back like you would when you're driving, you know, a lot more of those aggressive sports cars. Putting your foot down to the throttle definitely does give you a bit of go in the 450 SL. Some of the other SL models, you don't have quite the pep in the step that the V8 models do have, but this is surely enough power to be able to get out on the road and have an enjoyable time driving. As I previously mentioned, these things do handle surprisingly well as I'm taking this corner with a bit of pace here. There's a bit of body roll when you're driving these 450s or any SL, uh, the R107 generation for that matter, but it's not the type of body roll where you really are like falling out of your seat like that or anything, which is good since these seats don't have any sort of major bolstering or anything of that nature. This example drives very straight, very true, and overall is a very comfortable place to be. I thoroughly enjoy the red interior that this one has. I think it pairs very, very well with the gray blue exterior. And I do like the option of having multiple convertible tops as well. Should you want to take off the hard top and go out for some open air cruising, you can do that very easily using there's some uh, latches up at the top here as well as in the back. Uh, it comes with the tool you'll find in the glove box and you're able to then pop the top off, go for some open air cruising. Should you come across you know, some rain clouds, some inclement weather, you would be able to then um, put up the soft top and keep going on the rest of your day, not have any major issues with that. Now that we're back inside, I wanna point out a few other things that I think make this example really stand out. We have the 16 inch chrome wheels wrapped in Pirelli tires, as well as this gray blue exterior with these wonderful red pinstripe decals running the length of the car that really bring the exterior and the interior together. Thank you guys for checking out this episode of the Gearhead Gallery, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.